today is Thursday, Eddie's birthday. He is 36 today. Well, the first thing you do when you make kapiogala, you toast your bread, a whole loaf of it, and then you cut it into small pieces like this. In the meantime, you have six cups of water in a skillet on the stove and put about a cup of brown sugar and then a, and also put orange peelings and cinnamon and cloves and <laughs> onions and let it boil till you have a syrup. And after that's done, then you have get some butter or flour and put it on your um, skillet, something like this, all the way around. Then you start layering your toast. You put a layer of toast and a layer of peanuts. The more peanuts, the better. And in the meantime, you also put your raisins, another layer of raisins, and a layer of cheese. Do you soak those raisins, Cora? You soak the raisins so they, you don't really have to, but it's better if you soak them so they can be soggier. How long do you soak them? Overnight, or half hour. And then you put another layer of your toast, and the same thing goes over and over, a layer of your peanuts and your cheese. And then a layer of your raisins. Nobody sees me do that. And I'll also have to have a little cheese. I have to open it. The more cheese, the better. And you put another layer of your peanuts and your raisins. Now I'm going to put the whole shebang. And your raisins. You don't have to really measure at all. I never measure nothing. I just put layers and layers and layers and layers. And you put your cheese and that is it. There's nothing to it. Then you put it, then you put your, your, um, all this in your oven of your stove or if you have a conventional oven. Put it for as long as just the the, um, well, then you put your syrup. Now, now how do you make that syrup? I done said it before I started. <laughs> you put six cups of water, a cup of brown sugar, and you put some orange grinds and orange juice and cloves. What and kind of cloves? Cloves. Just, just cloves? Just cloves. Okay. Whole cloves. Whole cloves. And uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. Stick cinnamon. Stick cinnamon. And how long do you boil it? Till you, till, uh, oh, about, I'd say a half hour. A half hour? It becomes okay. a syrup. And Man. then are you lay, you layer all this in your, in your, um, in your bread and all the rest. And that's it. Then you just put it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. And you're ready to. That's it, you just put it in the oven and you're done. So, and I always put it about, oh, I'd say 15 minutes. That should match your, your cheese. And that's it. And don't, did you take a picture of my flowers? I want my flowers to come out. Mm -hmm. See my beautiful flowers? Who, who gave you those beautiful flowers? My son gives me one. 
flowers every year for this room. And why, why does he give you those? Because I'm special. <laughs> why did this come out? Why was this in a little bag? Well, let's fade out until this concoction that you made is ready, okay? Okay. We'll be back after this short message. Now, the light is known. And the light's supposed to be on? Or you out of battery? <laughs> it's not on. Oh, there, now it's on. It's too late now, go and talk. <laughs> You've been now it's ready after about 20 minutes. And this is how it looks. After the cheese all melts, it's done. You don't have to overcook it. Because it'll get too dry. Can you see how it looks like? Oh, mmm, mmm. <laughs> so now you can sit down and eat it, birthday boy. Oh, thank you. Let me go over here. Should should I eat it right out of the pan, Mom? No, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a, a bowl. Doesn't that look delicious? My mother's been making it for me for I don't know how long. That's kind of small, but you can have two or three. Mmm, two or three. Thank you. That. <laughs> thank, thank you, Mom. Okay, On my 36th birthday. Although she forgets, because she thinks my birthday is March 5th. But it's March 6th. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, let's wave at the camera. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, we'll close it. I might not be here next year. Don't say that, Mom. <laughs> okay. It looks like the more times you warm it up, the better it will be. But it's good to eat cold too, right, Mom? Yes, but are you done now? <laughs>